hello everyone and welcome back to my channel we are back with some old fifa 21 next gen career mode here with west brom this is episode 15 now we're into our second season of our west brom career mode we're looking to improve after that decent first season where we won the efl cup i think we finished eighth in the league and we do we should at least have european football this season which i'm really looking forward to to playing those european league games we also have a little bit of cash to go in and boost up the squad as well so we'll try and get some good players in and see if we can progress with this career mode here but just like always don't forget to smash that like button if you want to see more westbound career mode subscribe if you're new and let's get this episode going all right so looking at the calendar um we have liverpool oh my goodness liverpool Wolves, and manchester united are our opening three games of the season that is i mean talk about starting out strong that is very very tough for us let's take a look at our transfer hobby and see the players that we were scouting so I was looking at Jerome Boateng. He was a free agent. Just want to get him for free to replace Kara Bartley. But Inter Milan grabbed him for free. Also on free agent is Benteke. We could get him as a backup striker. Um, next was Matthew Ball. This is an interesting one because he reminds me of Christian Chivu. I know you guys know who Christian Chivu is, but he's a pretty decent defender. for Pretty good for Inter Milan. Um, but we do need a defensive midfielder. For me, that's the number one priority. That's the place we're lacking. We couldn't, for some reason, renew the loans of Midland Niles and Orkali Yukushli. So our right back and the defensive midfielder are the two options. I was looking at Tyler Adams. He's young, but might be too expensive for our budget. Tonali is definitely not. Somari um also might be too expensive they're looking between 35.7 million um Kinduzi, also very expensive 44 million that's how i think i don't even know what our budget is we'll check that in a second here he's also 41 let's check our budget here quickly uh so we do have 30 million to spend of course we can increase that and can adjust that but about 30 million dollars to spend so i think for me the wisest option was to go with it was between um luis gustavo and William Cavalli. Start was 34, so he's better it's a little bit past it. So going with William Cavalli, I think he probably is the best option. He's cheap as well. He's a matured, you know, in his in his prime. And I think he's probably the best option we can go with. 80 overall, 29. We'll probably use him for a couple years. We'll accept that. So we have William Cavallo. The next option is a right back. And also we need a, a good goalkeeper. And I was trying to look for a young goalkeeper. But I realized we already have a young goalkeeper in Sam Johnstone, which who is developing. So we can just get a you know a pretty decent goalkeeper at his end of his run to just fill in here and there. So I think it might, it might be Steve Madanda or Neto. Uh it might be Steve. I think we can get Steve for what cheap. I try to get Buffon, but he's not in the game anymore. I think he retired, so couldn't get Buffon, so I think Steve Madanda probably be the options we can get. Um, delicate to buy. Yeah, we'll put that in there. And our next option is to get Max Arendt. So the right back we're looking for. Reese James, I would love, but he's way too expensive. Lamptey, 17.5, but I will see if we can come up with something like that. Or Max Arendt as well. Um, Max Evans is pretty decent. I think he'll do a nice job. Or the next option is Frimpong. He's very cheap, very, very, very pacey. So I think Frimpong can also do the job. We might get him. He's young as well. 73. We can slap some development plan on him. We might go with him. We might go with him. We might go with him. Need to adjust the. We need to adjust the budget. Um, sorry if this is a long episode. I apologize in advance. These these first episodes usually takes a little bit longer just to get through all the transfers and the negotiations and everything. But we'll get this sorted out. Try and get a good team. So they sold some players as well. So <laughs> uh, that's how we were able to generate about 30 million. Um, so that's not bad. An offer for Robinson. Go ahead and reject that. I can't wait to renew Robinson's contract um, let's go to the oh they agree 4 million let's accept that uh, wage let's do his wages quickly all 
All right, let's go on and adjust our wages and try and get a center back. I mean, a right back, I should say. Ooh, the club profit is down now. Oh, there we go. Our wages are too much. I think 70, 70, 30 seems fine. We'll adjust it there. And so I don't think, so I talked about 17 million. I don't think we can get Lampy. Yeah, we can get Lampy. We cannot get Max Aaron. It has to be Spring Pong. So let's get an approach to buy Spring Pong. By the way, his value just went up again. Uh, 13. That's fine. They want 13.1. I mean, that's... Oh, uh, that's fine. Listen, the thing about frame pong is, the thing about these players, they might be cheap to get, but... Their wages can be very, very huge. Five years, perfect. Let's accept that. No release clause. Like, I'm going to be here for five years. It's wages. 40? Ooh, he's happy with that. So I think that's fine. I do think that's fine. If you look at our office, that's that's fine. That's plenty of money. Let's take a look at the squad now. Um, there's a few things we can bring in. So, um, hmm. Yep, we'll go with that. Save that. My next option I was thinking about actually was to try and was to try and get um what's his face? Was to try and get a right winger. We do have but we don't have that much money anyway. Offer for Ajayi. Go ahead and reject that. We don't have enough money to get a right back. May, I mean a right winger. Maybe we could in the January transfer window. Um, you want Steve Madanda's captain? Diagana. Wait, did I not pick my starting team? I think I didn't pick my starting team. I was gonna reject that for Norway. Brand transfer offer. Reject that as well. There we go. Oh, we have Liverpool coming up in our first game of the season. This will be a tough one. Look at that Liverpool team. Jota, Firmino, Salah. I don't know where Mane is, but Henderson, Fab Fabian. Fabian's a good midfielder. Fabinho, Van Dijk, Matip. Oh, my gosh. But that's our team. Look, our team is looking a lot different than last season. We have Madanda in goal, Ajayi, Cavalio. So, not bad. Frank Punk comes in as well. We have some pace in the back. That we can deal with. But can we create chances against this Liverpool team? Let's get it going. Holding attention on Andrew Robertson. The big news is he's been deemed fit enough to start, and we're live next on EA TV. Robinson has been deemed fit enough to play. Can he stop Diagana or Grant? But we are at Anfield, the fortress. That is very hard to go and get a win. Can we do the impossible here against Liverpool? Did we beat them last season? I think we, we beat them last season, but that was at the Hawthorns. All right, let's get this game going. We've been looking forward to this kickoff now. New season, and it's up and running. We're going defensive for now. Mino, Dasko Vadio is there to intercept. Now it's Frimpong, Ajayi, William Cavallio. Mateos Pereira. Oh, lovely play. Go play here from West Brom. Grady Diagana gets in. <laughs> Let's go. We suck them up. We suck the pressure and we counter them. That's how you do it against these big teams. We soaked up so much pressure from Liverpool in the opening 20 minutes. But we got our chance and what a break this is. 
Lovely true pass from Robinson. He's he's continuing exactly where he left off. Lovely pass to Diagana. And he gets the first goal of the season. We're up and running. Smashing goal there by Grady Diagana. Will he be the difference maker this season? It's 1-0 to West Brom. Fabian, Firmino, lovely tackle from Jasko Vadio. I tell you what, our defense is looking assured here today. <laughs> we will need them to be assured because this game is far from over. Liverpool will try and push for it in the second half, that's for sure. But so far, so good for West Brom. Slow dead office for Salah. I tell you what, the pace of Tavares. Steve Madonna, surprisingly, has been pretty decent. <laughs> He's made a couple of good saves to keep us in this game. Let's just say they're beating... Spurs, United are tied with Cardiff. So Cardiff said he got promoted. That's pretty interesting. But if you look at the match facts, look at this. 65 to 35. But we have the most chances. We look deadly every time we go forward. Can we keep it up and hopefully see this game out? Second half is up and running. Thiago, lovely one-twos. Good interception. Foster Salah. Arnold, Salah. Oh, what a goal by Firmino. Oh, they kept on probing. The gig and press was on. And we just couldn't keep them out. Roberto Firmino finds the equalizing goal. And it's 1-1. Lovely passing and movement here from Liverpool. Look at this passing movement. I don't know how he's not offside there. Jasko kept him on. Uh, they're back in the game. It's 1-1. Anderson. Got tackle in there from Ajayi. Can we hit them on the break? Now it's Pereira. Lovely pass. Get in! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Guess who won it for us? Colin Robinson. What a way to open up your first goal in the Premier League in the second season. The top scorer last season. What a way to get your first goal. Then a winner. At Anfield, let's go. <laughs> Lovely true pass from Pereira. Look at this pass. Let's bring Soros in. Pereira has been excellent. And you know he's not missing that. The form he's been in, he's continuing right off from last season. Lovely goal there from Colin Robinson. Is that the first of many? It's 2-1. I think we may have just hung on here. <laughs> we have done the impossible. Stunned Liverpool at Anfield. Who would have thought this? Three, you see, three additional minutes. Oh, they they are trying to get them a goal. Oh, he goes for the thing. No, not again. How many times do we concede late goals? I don't know why Ajayi slipped there. Ah, uh, of course. That's pretty disheartening. That That's just a heartbreaker. Look at the gap. Look at the gap. Oh, that's a lovely finish. Audacious from Roberto Firmino. Oh, it's 2-2. Two -two. Looks like it's going to end 2-2 two -two here at Anfield. Why at three minutes? Oh, come on. There goes the full-time whistle. It ends 2-2 two -two in our first game of the season. Look, I would, I would take it, but that's pretty disappointing knowing that we could actually have won this game. We could have won this game, but towards the end, we were tired. Ajayi was slipping. The gap opened up for Firmino, and he scored. I mean, we had the most chances. Uh, Leicester B Spurs, Manchester United won against Cardiff City. But that's not that's not bad. Look, I like I like the way we played. We're looking decent. We're looking decent. Liverpool are a great team. They did win the league last season. Um, so in my career mode. So definitely, uh, I was looking to loan him, but I might keep him. I might keep him. Go and delegate. Just loan. I don't want any loan to buy. Just loan. Uh, that, that, that's very disappointing. The fact that we actually could have won it is what's disappointing. But Robinson is off and running. 
uh, that's the most important thing. Robinson is off and running. That's the good thing about it. Gonna reject that. I mean, he had 38 goals last season. He was just too short of hitting that 40 goal mark. Can he do it this season, however? I I doubt it. I 40 goals a season is very hard to do. That's very, very hard to do. 38 is 30 is impressive. 38 is extraordinary. But he should have won that game against Liverpool. Jeez, there we go. It's almost like we had a whole two weeks break before we faced Wolves. John Stone. He's probably starting the next game. I'll have to do it that way. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get this going against Wolves. Uh, again, the, the kits. Why does EA not recognize this? They're going to have to play in this one. They have Adnan Yanozai. Wow. Was there an international break? Is that why Pereira, Robinson, Ajayi are not all fresh? Anyway, that's the Wolves team. They always play in a 5-3-2. They do have Rudiger. Rudiger from Chelsea. Wow, they have strength in their defense. Yanozai as well. But look, the way we play against Liverpool, if we can just if, if we can just produce half that performance. We should have a good result against Wolves. Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Our second game of the season. We are back at the Hawthorns, finally. For our first home match this season as we take on Wolves. It hasn't been an easy start to the season. Liverpool, Wolves and Manchester United are definitely a tough opponent to face. But if we can get these hard games out the way, we know that this season we can get a pretty good run towards the middle and end stretch of the season. But these are the games that Colin Robinson, Diagana and Grant need to show their quality. Get some goals in them. And let's get it up and going. Alessandra player. I'll tell you what, they really strengthen their squad. Press up is up and running. Oh, lovely one to pole dance is in. Pole dance, good save from John Stone. Lovely saves, a corner kick here for Wolves. Press comes in. Oh, what a diving header. What are we doing in the back? Sayers with a diving header that will make it 1 0 for Wolves. Oh my goodness, William Cavalli should deal with that. I literally thought he had that. With Zono marking again, Cross comes in. He runs in on them. Oh, come on. We had two defenders, and he just so determined to get to that first. Ah, uh, great job. It's 1 0 to Wolves. We're drilling. We're we'll tackled in by Ricky Pui. Nice Pereira. Can we get a goal before halftime here? Oh, what a true pass from Mateos Pereira. Robinson is in. Get in. Colin Robinson. <laughs> Let's go. What a true pass by Pereira. Can we get a goal before halftime? That's exactly what we needed. And we do have it. Look at this true pass. Takes out two defenders. Lovely counter attack. And you know he's not missing that. The form that he's trying to pick up. He's not missing that. Colin Robinson makes it 1 1 right on halftime as well. Exactly what we're looking for. For tackling by William Cavallio. Alessandro player. And it's, there goes the halftime whistle. Not a bad first half. At least we tied it before the break. Alessandro play has been quiet. We have the pace to deal with players like that. It's just they're not really strong in the air. But Chelsea are beating Fulham. Leicester City, it looks like they're on a decent run. Beating some Hampton. Uh, yeah, no changes. We're not making any changes. Let's get on with the second half. As anticipated, plenty of we have entered the final How much time are they going to add on? Just a minute added on for four time. Are you having a laugh? Just, oh my goodness. They just kept on holding onto the ball here. And it's a draw. It ends 1-1. We tried and pushed for it, but I mean, my goodness, five in the back with Rudiger in the back there with Sayers. I mean, they're a defensively a strong team. 
way too strong than I expected. We we tried and tried to get a second goal, we just couldn't. They're just way too defensive. Way too defensive, this Wolf team. Five in the back. Barely any chances created. They haven't had any. That was a boring game to play. <laughs> uh, that's not good for us because we have Manchester United to come up. We should have at least won that game. Uh, this is a tough, tough run. Tough run to the opening season. Go ahead and reject that. Ooh, they were willing to give me Manuel Lanzini for Jasko. That's not a bad deal. But Jasko is just Jasko. Arsenal wants Diagana. <laughs> Look, at least, at least teams want our players. You know, that's the main thing. Our players are now very valuable. Diagana and Colin Robinson, Grant. Uh, ooh. I don't know. What what am I going to do with this? They want a swap deal. I'm rejecting that. I'm rejecting that. But we have Manchester United coming up. Ah, uh, two. I mean, this, this episode has been very, very tough. Very tough. That's the Manchester United team. Cavani, Fernandez, Greenwood, Rashford, Fred and Van der Beek, Maguire, Lindelof, Wami Saka, and Teles. Maguire, M Magalov, we could actually expose with Robinson and the pace that we have, but they do have a decent attack. That's looking like a proper, proper game. But let's, let's get on with it. Let's get it going. Well, in the space of three weeks, we have went to Anfield and now we're at Old Trafford as we take on Manchester United. Talk about having a tough opening start, tough opening fixtures of the season. But it is what it is. We have to play these games either way. So we'd rather play them sooner than later. <laughs> Let's get the rust out the way, grow into the season, and hopefully we can start picking up some points. Cavani is up and ready. He's looking pretty fresh. He's going to be a problem today for us. So is Bruno Fernandes. Alright, let's get this going. He's the star of this show. Can we? Let's go defensive. I'll take a draw now. Ricky Pui. Blocked. Oh, we're in lots of trouble. Cavani. Lovely true pass to Greenwood. It's Mason! And it's 1 0 to Manchester United. <laughs> the youngster in form, the star project for Manchester United, Mason Greenwood. Lovely true pass. He just ran past Tavares. No idea where he is. And that's a lovely finish. He has a good finish on him. Two goals in the Premier League, and it's 1 0 to Manchester United. Oh, come on. Bruno Greenwood plays it to Bruno Fernandez. It's 2 0. Oh, uh, that goes our game plan to sit back and hit them on a the break. Oh, he's showing off, isn't he? He is showing off here. <laughs> this is a tough start to the season. Look at this passage of play here. Two pass comes in from Greenwood. First time hit, and that's a decent finish from Bruno. All right, we're going to have to go for this now. Let's go balance a little bit. It's 2 0. Can we get a goal before halftime? Look, where are my players? Let's go. It's Grant. Let's go. <laughs> right on halftime. We get a goal back. We get a goal back. Let's go. Get the ball. Get the ball. We could tie this. We could tie this. Finally, we counter them. Look at this cut back here from Grant. Turns. And that's a good finish. We pull one back. Robinson, three goals in three games now. He's trying to find his form again. It's 2 1. Game is back on. Two additional minutes added on for halftime. Bruno. We shouldn't concede here. We should not concede. Rashford. Oh my goodness. Skips past Frimpong. Good recovery, Taco. 
Oh, what are we doing in the back? There we go. Halftime whistle. And we can go into the break with our heads up high. We pulled one back, but Bruno Fernandez has been pulling the strings. Him and Greenwood has been really tough to, to stop. So is Cavani and Rashford. Fulham are beating West Ham. When are we going to play? Wait, Fulham didn't get relegated? <laughs> Good for them. Good for them. All right, let's get the second half going. Hopefully, we can at least tie this game up. Pogba, Tony, Pogba, Bruno. Oh, he gives a free kick. Oh, we're losing this game. It's Bruno Fernandes to take. Oh! Bruno Fernandes. He is tearing out a new one. What a spectacular free kick go from Bruno. Oh, there's nothing we could do about that. I don't even know how the free kick came about. But Bruno Fernandes makes no mistakes up and over. Hits the post. And there's nothing Steve Madonna can do about that. And it's 3-1. I'm going to have to just go for this now. Oh, lovely pass. Mason, it's four. It's game over now. 4-1 for Manchester United. They're just too good on the counter-attack. Look at that pace of Greenwood. Gets in front of Tavares. I've never seen Tavares. <laughs> Struggled so much since we bought him, but Mason Greenwood has literally had him on toast today. Nothing he can do about it. It's 4 1 to Manchester United. Ah, uh, Romain. Martinez. Good tackle in. McTominay. Martinez. Oh my goodness, it's five. <laughs> Uh, look, this was this was just mounted happy. We're pushing for a goal here, and we're leaving spaces in the back. And the way Manchester United counterattack, it's so hard to not concede against them. Five one. All right, let's try not to concede. Let's go defensive here. Three additional minutes of added time. I mean, why add three minutes? Sound like they're losing. Oh, we can get back into this game. Lovely pass. Phillips. Oh, it's blocked. Uh, we could at least make it 5 2. And there goes the full time whistle. We have gotten blown away here by Manchester United. As they demolish us 5 1. Oli gets the better of me again. I'll get you one day, Oli. I'll get you back. Uh, it was a terrible effort. For some reason. I just, I just thought we could at least put pressure on Manchester United by going for this, but that was a wrong idea. Wrong, wrong idea. We created a lot of chances. just wasn't our day. 2-1 for Fulham. Wasn't our day. It's been a terrible start to the season. Terrible episode. We had, what, three games, two draws, and a loss. I mean, that's not too bad. That, that's not too bad because Liverpool was in there as well. Wolves, we definitely could have won at least, but that's all. Right. We're going to win against Liverpool, but that's all right. It's still early, still early days. Robinson is already getting up there, but, you know, we'll not make this any longer than it already is. We are Berlin in the next episode. Spurs and Southampton. Spurs are a team that I just cannot seem to win against. They're just way too strong. So, Hampton, we can win. Brandon, we could win. So, I'm looking forward to the next episode. But we're going to stop here for now. Thank you for watching again. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.